Before going into the main presentation of uh, PACE, I would like to introduce my department, which is Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. It has two autonomous bodies, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, CSIR, Consultancy Development Center, CDC, two public sector undertakings, NRDC, National Research Development Corporation, and Central Electronics Limited, CEL. And of course, we have our own schemes at, at DSIR, which we are operating. Now, the scheme which has been coined as patent acquisition and collaborative research and technology <coughs> development is self-explanatory. If you look into the uh, title of the scheme, you will find that the, there are three aspects into it. The first one is patent acquisition, the second one is collaborative research, and the third one is technology development. My entire presentation is divided into three parts, patent acquisition, collaborative research, and technology development. Of course, the, I won't go into more much details uh, on patent acquisition because my colleague, Mr. Ashwini Gupta, has thrown a lot of light on that. But of course, I'll present in detail about collaborative research and technology development. Uh, I would like to share with you... Uh, a few interesting statistics about MSMEs which I believe uh, are the backbone of the industry, of the export of our country. Uh, Mr. Ashwini Gupta has given recent data on the number of uh, MSMEs existing and the people employed, but I thought I would share with you the census data of 2006-07 just to give a comparison how the numbers are, in are increasing. If you look at the fourth All India Census of MSME, which was done in 2006 and 7, you find that there were 26.1 million MSMEs. The data now stands at 36 million. So see the enormous numbers which have increased, you know. Now the number of people which were employed were 59.7 million, which now stands to about 80 million. And the contribution to exports was about 45%, which of course has come down. But I think we should be optimistic it would again go up. As I said, I won't go into the nitty-gritties of patent acquisition, but I can't hold the temptation of, hold, of sharing a case in point of Procter & Gamble, which is a FMCG giant, as we all know. Procter & Gamble is a technology-rich company. It, ha it has about 27,000 patents. 4,000 unique titles and about 3,000 new patents are added to the company every year. It invests more than about $1.8 billion on R&D every year. But a very interesting point to note here is that PNG does not use much of its technology which has been developed in-house, but the ones which have been acquired from elsewhere. This is a very interesting point which, you know, focuses on the need of collaboration and acquisition. Now, uh, what can PACE offer by way uh, of uh, technology acquisition? It will support Indian industries to acquire intellectual property at an early stage, as my colleague just now said in his presentation, from overseas or within the country. And patents can either be acquired on an exclusive or non-exclusive basis. Now coming to the second point, collaborative research, before going into the nitty gritties, uh, I would like to share a quote of Antoine Lavoisier, who is a very renowned scientist, a very renowned chemist of the 18th century. He coined the terms oxygen and hydrogen, and at that time he predicted the existence of silicon. Even in the 18th century, this visionary had the power to see the potential of collaborative research, and he has very beautifully said, I quote, most of the work still to be done in science and the useful arts is precisely that which needs knowledge and cooperation of many scientists. It is necessary for scientists and technologists to meet, even those in branches of knowledge which seem to have least relation and connection with un one another. You have to predefine your expectations of who will do what, because, you know, then the other person was all, always, uh, he will think that you will do it, you will think that the other person will do it. Do a very uh, well-defined kind of an agreement on who will do what and define assignments and expected outcomes. And again, authorship is one area which is a very sticky area. You know, this leads to a lot of litigation. This leads to a lot of confrontation. So, you know, you need to avoid that. So, uh, before going for uh, any collaboration, please agree on authorization in advance. 